said, darling, you are all I want for sure Darling, you give me everything and more I said, darling, ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, girl, you know I miss you attending an event I know I haven't opened this vlog properly I'll do so once I'm in a um, I'll do so once I'm in a more relaxed state having roadworks here So I just wanted to say hi and let you know and let you guys know where I'm going. Um, I'll open this vlog properly once I get to the venue. And yeah, welcome. Uh, they told us to wear sport athleisure, athleisure. Yes, so sporty clothes. So I'm just wearing leggings, a top crop, and my. Uh, um, my trench coat because I don't want to wear a jersey and to be too it's not cold but it's not hot either so I think this will be perfect for daytime um, I think the event is ending at 3 or 4 so by the time it gets really chilly I will be back at home so yeah I'm wearing that with my uh, new balance sneakers I'll just put a picture here it's the first time I'm wearing them and yeah Okay, let me drive guys and I'll see you guys at the at the event. I'm sorry, I can't even look at you guys because I have to concentrate look at the road. But yeah, see you guys at the event. Bye. Bye. conversation marketing manager of the body shop south africa my friend your friend the incredible rock star Woo!
hey guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is gugu i am also known as sne underscore kukuleji on all my social media platforms feel free to follow me because i really do drop some premium content and that's on period to all my returning subscribers my day ones my vip king 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 thank you so much for coming back for yet another video and if you're new here and you're seeing my face for the first time and you're thinking to yourself who is this gorgeous gorgeous hat <laughs> My name is Gugu. I hope you stay. I hope you fall in love. And I definitely, definitely hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of my family. Welcome to a new vlog, guys. Oh my word, I missed you guys so, so, so much. I think I haven't vlogged in like a month. And I want to give you guys like a mini life update. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I've got two things to do before I forget. The first is unboxing my goodie bag that I got from the event that I just came from. We were celebrating the vitamin C from the body shop. This is my goodie bag. And it opens like this. And this is what we got. I hope it's not blurry. We got the um, vitamin C glow revealing serum they spoke so highly of this and everyone was just raving about it i can't wait to try it i've never used their products but i've heard good things about them i'm so happy that i can finally try out their products and they also gave us their vitamin c glow boosting intense moisturizer can't wait to try it i'm so excited um and we also got something cold for the house uh, we also got this from um, brutal food they gave us drinks let me check do I know this one I think I know I think I've tried this one I'm not sure but this is what we got this is the first flavor that we got I've never tried it can't wait to try it and they also gave us I love that they gave us different flavors to try. Oh, this is like the strawberry. What's this? Lychee. And this is strawberry. Oh, this is lychee. And this is strawberry. And this is the third one. I also took these. Um, you could take as many as you want. I think I took about 10. I took different flavors. Love, love, love them. I love the spicy turmeric one. It's my favorite, especially for now in winter i feel like it's such a great shot to have okay the next one i'm trying to move so fast so that i don't take too long uh so the next one is about my face wash ne? so i get a breakout if it's uh that time of the month during my monthlies before they start I get a breakout like a week before my, my skin starts breaking out and then also if I eat junk like if I eat anything that I want I'm not eating healthy my skin breaks out if I eat like a lot of sugar because I love sugar I have a sweet tooth and I love juice on all those sweet stuff and I've been lately I've been eating anything I want if you can look at me I've gained weight so this is what I use to wash my skin eh? this is a uh, Demologica's um, active clearing skin uh, face wash ne? this is not sponsored no one is paying me I just feel like there's something pushing me to share this ne? Uh, I ran out of it this is my bottle like it's empty it I ran out of it I think on it's been a week now so I've been using a different face wash the face wash I'm using is also from De Demologica guess what I got a pimple let me zoom in on it I had one I know it's just one but here it is like I got a little break out here and I got a little um, break out here right one week after not using this thing last year same thing happened I ran out of it and immediately when I stopped using it my skin started breaking out I didn't share because I felt like mm, maybe it's a coincidence and now when it happened again I get another breakout. Go through my videos, watch my videos. I, I don't get breakouts. I don't get breakouts. I can change serums, I can change moisturizers, I can change toners. But immediately when I stop using this active, caring face wash from Demologica, 
my face breaks out i know it's not a lot like it's not heavy but i don't get a single pimple and when i get it i notice what hmm actually i i believe in this um i'm not saying go buy it i'm not promoting it i'm just sharing the information do what you will with it up to you but i just wanted to share it is on the price side i think it's 1200 i'll put a picture here i'm not sure just wanted to plug you guys if you're suffering from breakouts this might help i'm not saying it's going to help you obviously our skins are different it might work for me and not work for you but i can't wait tomorrow morning first thing i am going to the art store to buy it it's available at woolies at demolitica but i buy it at the art store because i get like crazy clicks points <laughs> i'm done <laughs> i'm done i wanted to talk about what a, life, a mini life update but i feel like i've said so much already and i can we can just talk about it tomorrow so what we're doing tomorrow is i'm going to give you guys an empty tour of we're doing the kitchen tomorrow we're getting bar chairs um what you call this shop we went to Cory Craft to buy batches and we got them. Um, we're picking the dishes, like we're doing my kitchen. Uh, we're changing the lights. Um, what do you call those hanging lights? I forgot the name, I'll just put in a clip. <laughs> we're changing that. Uh, we're picking dishes, we're picking my pantry, we're picking my pots, we're picking the fridge. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. And then after we we've done that we can cook perhaps maybe i can give you the life, life update there or i can give you the life update at the end of the vlog but at the end of the vlog i want to talk about i want to talk about the empty house chore i saw your <laughs> i saw your comments i also want to talk about why we chose to buy this house i think i even i've never touched on that i just want to sit down and talk but i'll see where i fit everything in uh but yeah i don't want to make this long this vlog super long so i'm thinking i'm gonna do like a short 40 minutes vlog and then after i'm done start another vlog so i'll, I'll drop a vlog on a sunday this is gonna come out on sunday and then drop another vlog on a wednesday right just to you know fit everything in instead of making one long vlog but yeah guys i am back i need to shoot my campaign for netbank you guys i know, know i'm working for netbank i want to shoot that now uh, my husband is at work he should be home by now so i'll see you guys tomorrow when we are cleaning the kitchen like when we're doing that i'm gonna start with the empty house not empty house tour, empty kitchen tour it won't be empty empty the fridge will be there the dishes will be stashed somewhere but um we're gonna start there I talk a lot, ne? <laughs> I talk a lot of it, like I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and I'm trying to fit in so much information in just the intro because I feel like I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. That's why I have so much to say and so much to share. And we have, like, we have unboxings for days. I'm gonna put a picture here. We're gonna do it during the vlog, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe, and please do not skip the ads. Uh, thank you for 117,000, 117,000. We're almost on 120,000 subscribers. Hey, you guys rock. What do you even mean? <laughs> Let me go, guys. Um, we'll talk tomorrow. Bye. It was drizzling just now, but it stopped. So because I am so lazy to <laughs> chop my veggies, I bought this ready-made um, split pea soup. I like mine with extra potatoes, so I am gonna add three or two, I think two. I'm gonna cut the first two and see if they're enough. Um, there are potatoes in here, but I feel like they're so little and I like mine with like lots of potatoes so yeah I'm gonna start with the dumpling right now and then after that um, I'm gonna make the soup um I forgot to show you guys I'm going to be making my um, soup <laughs> with meat the chat in my cousin is so meat is a must um I'm married to a closer man in English so he loves his lamb okay he loves his meat but my husband loves lamb so i'm going to be making it with lamb i'm gonna cook this separately and just mix it together at the end but i'll show you do not worry mutni 
Muni warni. <laughs> Let's go, guys. is out what i wanted us to do yesterday we actually want to do today because i ended up cooking yesterday because of the weather i was even using my lighting because it was like i'm cooking at night like it was dark 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 
um i want to start by giving you guys a kitchen tour i read your comments <laughs> I read your comments regarding my um, my empty house chore and how unhappy you were with the photographer and the job that he did and anything that goes wrong on this channel it's my fault ultimately I'm the person who runs the show I'm the person who gives the final go I'm the person who comes up with ideas it was me who decided to do it hmm this is possibly our last I've done two empty I did one flat apartment one empty apartment tour and I did I did one empty house tour and this is probably our last empty house tour so i wanted to make it nice i wanted to make it bougie like i had a vision even though that vision was not executed um i'm not gonna put the blame on anyone else except for on on myself like i'm gonna put the blame on myself and i'd like to sincerely sincerely apologize i saw that all of you almost all of you were heavily disappointed i get where you're coming from but I don't want to point fingers except like take the blame. So what I'm going to do moving forward is that I'm going to give you, it won't be an empty obviously house chore, but before I put furniture, I'm going to give you like my version of an empty house chore. Like I'm going to do that with the kitchen now, but obviously the fridge is going to be there. Before I start putting in the dishes, we bought a new, my husband went to buy a new, oh he's back. My husband went to buy a new, uh, I can see him at the door. My husband went to buy a new oven for our kitchen. We're changing our old micro oven so that it can fit. We're gonna be he, we're gonna be putting that in. It's not even putting it in. You just really plug it in. Um, what else? We bought new bar kitchen chairs. I don't like them. I want to return. <laughs> I want to return them, but I would need your advice on that. As to do you guys think I should? um keep them or return them they're not bad but they didn't really they didn't give me that thing that i wanted and thirdly we're just going to be packing dishes in the um, in the cupboards dishes and flasses and then i bought some stuff on super list we're going to be unboxing that and then yeah after that i'll close off the vlog i want to do the pantry and fridge packing but i'll do that with you guys on wednesday i want to drop this vlog on a sunday and then yeah drop the vlog on a sunday and then drop another vlog on a tuesday so that it's not one long lengthy video it's just one short video okay guys let's um i'm gonna open the door my husband is here with the oven and then we might as well oh and i'm also changing those lights let me show you <laughs> baby um so these are the lights so i want to buy this alone <laughs> i want to buy this alone thinking we're going to hang them up there and my husband tells me that these are actually lamp they're not for up there so i bought two but my husband says he can make them work okay let's bring in the he's waiting for me now let's bring in the oven and then start packing my kitchen for the last time <laughs> makes yeah, it yeah, is it heavy not that heavy okay guys i was deviating with the solar dome before we get to unboxing and placing it in i said i'm going to show you guys the kitchen i know it's not the complete um empty house tour there's stuff in the drawers some of them i still have to take them out but yeah this is the view of the kitchen so out of the whole house i feel like the kitchen is the smallest part it's not small small honestly it's big enough but it's not like a huge huge kitchen like our bedroom like our bedroom is huge even our guest bedroom is huge our bathrooms is huge but here we really did compromise um here it's where we put your wines or your drinks and then we have a gas stove uh we're going to be doing these drawers today i'm gonna open them for you properly and show you so this is our old um micro not old but this is all like our current micro oven that we are using um as you can see it has a gap here like there's a gap here 
so the one we bought is bigger and it's gonna fit in perfectly i am going to sell this one i'll talk about the stuff that i'm selling at the end and then here is just drawers um i want to put like my baking stuff um like i don't know stuff that i would use for the oven when i'm baking and 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 but we'll pick that together don't worry um this is a built-in oven unlike the micro oven that we bought um with this one obviously it's not a micro oven you can't warm food but with that other one you can warm food and 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 but we'll talk about it um but just this is the before and what we're doing today is putting in my dishes i haven't decided where i want to put in the dishes <laughs> Yeah, but you guys will see when we're picking. I don't want to open everything. Um, okay, so you see, I'm going to put my um, spoons and everything in here. And then in here, I'm going to put my spices. Here, I honestly don't know. Like I said, it's not really an empty house show. I just threw these things in here because I don't know where to put them. <laughs> um, again, not empty house show, but I just threw everything in here. Excuse the mess. Like I through everything but we're going to be packing together so it's not an issue i just wanted to show you guys that up close and then this is the island i'm gonna open and show you guys like i said it's not empty but yeah so this is where we keep our bean check it out we take it out at night and then we have more drawers here um i know it's messy guys but we, we really haven't packed properly we just threw everything in more drawers ignore the mess and then here i placed my um air fryer and what do you call this thing going to be uh -uh. <laughs> pressure cooker <laughs> and the pressure cooker i am thinking of putting them up there because here there's more storage I haven't decided, you know, putting them up here uh, because it's not something that I use every day. So it would be fun even if they go up here. I love that we don't have handles, eh? I love that our cupboards don't have any handles. Okay, I think I'm done with the kitchen tour. Um, when it comes to the scullery, guys, um, let me show you a glimpse. It's a mess. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it's a mess. It's a mess. Uh, I want to do a vlog on Wednesday where we are doing the fridge packing. We're going to go buy groceries. We're packing the fridge and then also the scullery. Né? It's dark because there are no windows in here. This camera is tilting over. Sana, my mess my mess nobody else was messy no but this is the scullery we're gonna do everything properly next week um here i'm going to pack my immediate dishes like dishes that i use every day every day in classes and stuff like that i want to make this look so pretty um that is going to be the coffee station why are you tilting over sana oh uh, that is going to be our um coffee station one last thing that i want to show you guys um is this side ignore ignore that i'm not gonna hide anything just ignore <laughs> um so this side i want us to break this wall and make it like a huge window so that a lot of light comes in um that's why we went for this house because we really saw potential to turn it into what we want to be like what we want it to be so this thingy is too small like this um this window is too small we are gonna break it like from down here it goes up here it goes up here and it goes up here so that when i'm cooking i can have the view of the pool and the outside yard I can't wait it's not something that we're gonna do now 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 but obviously when there's money and we've saved that for it and we're ready so guys this is the lg solar dome uh, steam chef what this is is basically a, a a microwave but not only a microwave it's a gorilla charcoal gorilla 
actually what the guy said from LG, you can actually dry meat to a point where it's like you know, it's right outside the same quality. So it does you can do baking, you can do steam cooking, you can give your standard microwave functionality, you can double up as a what's this? It's the air fryer. I might be wrong, but it, it does have air fryer air frying capability. So I'll do the unboxing. I think the face is. Let me just change so you guys can see the face. You? I, I, I will need manpower. Manpower? <laughs> <laughs> let me put it on the floor. Let then, me help you. What do you no, mean, manpower? It's too high. <laughs> so, this is the. Underestimate me. <laughs> Thank you. Love me. Bye bye. Bye, Smack. Did you, 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 you kiss the microwave? <laughs> you but they are better now. <laughs> so this is the space, guys. Let's see if it's gonna fit. It doesn't. Ah, ah. Stop with the plug. Okay. Looks heavy. It is heavy. We measured before we bought it. Ooh! Ah, it fits! But I see gaps, baby. La. On the side. Yeah, it, it will. Like it's the, fine. Yeah, this is fine. We measured those gaps. We, we, we knew there were going to be gaps. But this is beautiful. They cover your food like this. Yeah. So this is just to like when you microwave or when you warm your food. Oh, for splatter. For splatter, just, just to stop splatter. Or even if you brine, you just cover like that. Cover. You dry your meat. There's no splatter. Uh -uh. <laughs> wow. Fits, baby, and this pot is big. But can you take this type of metal? Yeah. Try it. Try it. <laughs> Let's put on the light there. Okay guys, so now we're going to change the pendants. It's 5 p.m. now, it's getting dark, the sun is setting so quick. Um we're gonna do that and I'll wake up in the morning and start packing the dishes with you guys tomorrow because I don't wanna lose my light and I don't want to pack um when it's dark now maybe i started this day very late but it's fine hubby's gonna do this part morning guys good morning guys so today is <laughs> The following day so yesterday my husband did uh put up the lights but because it was getting so dark i didn't like the footage <laughs> i didn't like the footage as you can see at the back we are done i'm quickly going to show you <laughs> i'm quickly going to show you how um the lights look <laughs> let me be serious <laughs> morning guys so as i've said name my husband did um installed the pendants yesterday but it was around six seven so it was getting dark i didn't like the footage so i stopped recording and afterwards i also didn't like how the pendants looked they looked a bit flimsy and a bit cheap and a bit small i know they were 350 but still i, I don't want them to give off the 350 vibe so this morning we woke up and went to mr price home to buy 
um, a different like different pendants bigger ones because I really feel like these ones are small I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about but I'm gonna show you just now just now so we bought bigger ones let me show you here they are these are the new ones that we got um, we want to try them I'm gonna put them side to side up there so that you can see the size these ones go for it's 600 for one 600 for one I'm gonna try these if they don't work okay guys so here's the after we've uh, put on the new pendants um, they don't make a statement man I don't like them uh, but yeah we are about to change these and get bigger ones so yeah
Yesterday I lost the battle Trying that I'll call so To keep you, baby Oh, to keep you, baby Behind you, and now I wonder why won't you come back? Love me, hold me, need me like the way you used to do when it was just me and you. Don't go, I need you. I'm never missing. Okay, guys, so here is the final look of the kitchen before. After, before, after. Oh, I'm obsessed with the lights. Honestly, I don't even wanna lie. They are stunning. They are the perfect size. I'm not sure about the chairs. Please let me know if I should keep them or if I should keep um, looking for kitchen chairs. I went for a minimal look as you can see there's nothing on the island just flowers and then on the kitchen let me go closer the kitchen countertop it's only my smeg kettle um i also don't want to put smeg here but i don't have anything else to put i actually want to put my coffee machine here but i don't have the money for the coffee machine that i actually want still have to save up for it but i'm not in a rush also that corner not crazy about it but i'm not mad at it at the same time i will change it as time goes by but i just worked with what i have and guys i can't wait until i have money to buy a new countertop i want to change this i want a beautiful marble countertop you know those expensive marbles it's just that i don't have money now but again guys really i'm not in a rush i think this kitchen is stunning I'm going to enjoy it as it is until I have enough money to change the little things that I want. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Should I keep three batches or two? Let me show you from the side. But I think three were okay. Three batches or four, not two. Um, do you like these batches? Should I keep looking? Um, personally, I'm not even going to ask for help with these because I love them. I love them. Okay guys, let's close off this vlog. Guys, just like that, we've come to the end of this video. I just wanna say this vlog had hands. <laughs> Let me switch this off. Let me switch this off. Yo guys, but on a serious note, I feel like this vlog had hands. I was supposed to drop this vlog on a Sunday. Today, it is Tuesday uh what time what time is it i just opened a new vlog before even closing this one it's tuesday and this is the time and i'm only closing off the vlog right now hence i'm saying i feel like this vlog had hands i hope i don't forget anything in closing i want to unbox i, I said i know at the beginning of the vlog i said i have a lot to unbox but i just want to show you the home decor and then i'll unbox the other stuff in the next vlog i want to show you the stuff that i bought at Superblist. Again, when you go and buy on Superblist, please use my discount code Synergy Store. It's valid until 30 June, and then July we're gonna get a new code. But this is my code Synergy Store. Okay, the first flower. It's flowers. Now they are not real, but it's luxury flowers. Here they are. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so so pretty. I'm gonna move back so that you can see them properly. I got them in Superbalist, guys. I can't afford to buy as much as I want to. I feel like I can't afford to buy new flowers or fresh flowers every week. So I want to try these out. This is my favorite, favorite out of all of them. They look so real. Even my husband asked me, which is this real? Uh, I'm gonna link um, all the flowers in my description box if you want to buy. They are from Superblist. 
and then i've got this one but with this one i feel like it's so big i don't know where i'm gonna put it i love it but i feel like it's really really big um here it is it's this pink flower and this is the vase do you see how big it is i can't even fit it in this let me put it sideways like this i can't even fit it in this camera um because that's how big it is the flowers look so real guys like ha <sighs> I'm also going to link this in the description box. And then the last one that I bought, I think I'm gonna return this once because I, I, I don't like them. Please let me know what you think. But I feel like they're not giving what they're supposed to give. Here they are. I didn't take out the tags and um, in case I want to keep them. But yeah, these are the flowers that I got. I got three, um, I got three of the flowers. I uh, really think I'm going to return this white one. I feel like I'm not feeling it. Uh, but yeah, you guys will see how I use them as we continue with the house. And yeah, guys, um, lastly, to cover, in closing, why I was not posting vlogs for, for three weeks. It's because on the 2nd of, on the 4th of June, we got a call from my sister-in-law. He called my husband, my husband's sister, his older sister, telling us that um, his son is missing. His son was studying here in Cape Town uh, and that he's missing and he's been missing since uh, the 1st of June, which is Saturday. And she's calling us on the 5th of June, so it's days after and they are worried uh, the school called him because he missed his exam, he was supposed to be writing his last exam, he didn't come right no one has seen him um, my husband was in a meeting when he took that call I was out here vlogging and packing, we just moved into this house um, we dropped everything literally dropped vlogging, I dropped, I had campaigns, like I'm, I'm, even now I'm struggling getting back, like I owe so many people work, it's not even funny, um, but thank God that I have brands that actually understand, we dropped everything, we went to look for him, we started at his rest, spoke to his friends that he went out with, um, I don't want to get into details as to what happened, uh, simply because it's really not my story to tell, but I just want to highlight why I was not here. Um, we went looking for him, um, spent the whole day on the 4th of June looking for him. It was raining, it wasn't raining, but it was drizzling, like it was, like it was drizzling. Walked through the rain, we started looking I think around 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning. Came back at home at 8 p.m., we went to every hospital in Cape Town went to almost, not every, but almost every hospital. Um, went to every uh, police station to look, maybe he got arrested or he got injured, he's in hospital. We couldn't find him. Got CCTV of where his way, got CCTV of his last scene. Um, and then our last resort on the 4th of June was to go and open a missing person's case. We opened it. The following day, 6 o'clock in the morning, we couldn't sleep, guys, because we couldn't, we were anxious, the sun must come out so that we can go looking for him, okay? Um, 6 o'clock, past 6 in the morning, my husband's phone rings. Um, it's a detective that we opened a case with yesterday. He's like, uh, can you guys please come to the police station? Um, immediately, we wake up, bath, and drive there just to beat the traffic because traffic is awful in the morning oh, my eyes itchy tired we drive there we get there and they tell us that the description of the description that we gave with the missing person with the missing person case there's someone similar and that person is at the mortuary i cried then there like i just my husband was strong. I was with my husband and my brother-in-law. I just... I just cried. Because I felt like, what do you mean? Anyway, he said like, no, um, we're not sure. 
you need to go and identify we don't want to say it's him we don't want to say it's it's not him um you guys will not see him we'll just show pictures of the person that was found i can't even get into what happened to him but all i can say is that he was killed brutally killed um i don't want to say how like i said it's not my story anyway we go to the mortuary they show us his picture there's a missing i don't even know this guys there's a missing person at the mortuary in cape town there's a missing person's office so if someone is missing you can just go there and then they'll show you of they'll show you pictures of bodies that are there of missing people like i unidentified bodies they showed us his picture they showed us a picture and it was him. The hardest, the most painful time that I've experienced this year by far. Um, the way my husband broke down. Even today when I think about it, my heart bleeds. It was a lot. He... He had passed on he was gone just like that we have been looking for him but he was no more all along we just we just didn't know obviously we had to go tell his mom my husband's sister we did that his dad was driving to cape town to come help us look for the second day by the time we found out he was already in somerset he left mosul bay like Early in the early hours, we told him, and then after that, the rest obviously is organizing um, a funeral. I'm just gonna cut it there. A lot happened after the, afterwards because we had to go and identify the body. The first thing that we saw was a picture in the office, and then the following day, we had to go and identify the body. <sighs> it was a lot. It was a lot, and I know I've been missing in action. I've been unavailable it's not because i want i wanted to it was not because i was lazy or i was ignoring you guys but honestly my family has been going through the most like this was so so painful um last year 8 july we buried my mother-in-law and then in less than a year there's another funeral um for me i can't speak for other people and i I, I'm saying I can't speak for them, but I know that they are broken. I'm also broken. I'm traumatized. I'm not okay. <sighs> Guys, like I've never had to identify a body in my life, but I had to be strong and stand by my husband. But yeah, that's, that's as far as I can tell you. I feel like I've told you a lot, even though I didn't go like into details, 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 details of what happened to him, how he was found, and what's transpiring with his case at the moment. I'm not even going to touch on that. But I just wanted to explain that, um, yeah, that's why I haven't been posting. That's why I haven't been available. Um, I'd like to thank my friends. Um, even though you guys were not there, I felt your presence. Sne. She's in Mosul Bay. I felt her presence. Zanele in Pretoria, you were not here with me physically. Really felt your presence. Maneo, she just had a baby. She was not here with me physically. Felt her presence. Um, Shizzy P in Joburg, also she was not here. I felt her presence. And lastly, Vuyogazi. I saw her. No, I didn't see her during that. Did I see her? Yeah, I did see her. Um, but yeah, I want to say thank you so much, guys, for your support. I didn't call either of you to let you know what happened, but you guys reached out, kept on checking on me, kept on checking on my husband, just to let me know if I need anything. I could just shout and hey, guys, I need this. My my English, I'm like it's, it's getting heavier the more I talk about this. Um, but I just wanted to thank my friends and say thank you. And I'm naming you because it's a genuine thank you. Like I want you to know that 
thank you all i did was post on my instagram post on my whatsapp my husband was posting on his instagram his facebook obviously saying this person is missing and you guys called to check on us um even after we found out that he has part he had passed on you guys called to check up on us from the bottom bottom of my heart in front of the whole world thank you thank you so much and also a special thank you to my subscribers and my followers on my instagram your prayers oh guys Thank you. I know that I cannot name you guys individually, but I saw your DMs on the comment section. I did tag like on one of the comment section that um, there's a death in the family. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am grateful. You may feel like you just typing a comment is not doing much, but it's really doing a lot. And course, guys, let me love and leave you. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on my next one.